Good morning, my name's Tom and I'm uh, here with uh, Home and RV. I'm going to show your uh, new Winnebago to you as we walk around and video it. So uh, we'll start over here on the passenger side and up here at the uh, storage area where your hitch work is and also plenty of storage. Also on this side is your water heater. Your water heater is gas or electric and to light it off you simply go inside and push the button. You just want to make sure that there's water in the tank by pulling the valve first uh, so you don't burn your tank up. Behind that you'll find the outdoor electric as well as hook up to your onboard antenna and fill to your onboard tank <clears throat> to fill it uh, with water in case you are at a campsite that does not have city water. Then just directly behind that is your furnace exhaust. Your furnace exhaust, uh, it's a good idea to have a screen for this to keep mud daubers and little varmints out. And as we come on around to the front of your unit, You'll have your LP tanks. Your LP tanks are uh, 30 pound tanks and they're both full. And this is indicating we're drawing from this tank first. So this tank is on and ready to use. When this tank runs dry, a red flag will come up in this little X and then you'll know that uh, you do not have gas in that tank. You can switch it to the other tank. It is on and does uh, the green shows there's gas in it. And then you can turn this tank off, get it filled, and that way you'll never run out of gas. It's a good idea to just camp on with one at a time, and that way you'll always have a backup. Your electric tongue jack is here. You can extend or retract by just pushing the button. And there's also a light to work by in the evening. Behind that's your deep cycle marine battery. Uh, you want to check the cells about every four to five months and make sure water is staying over the plates. If it's at or below the plates just add some distilled water and you'll keep that in good shape. You do have a battery disconnect here and as long as it's on, which is on now, it will trickle charge your battery as you're plugged into shore power and also as you're plugged into your, um, your tow vehicle. Once you get to your campsite and uh, you level up on the low side tires, it's, uh, then you can uh, level up side to side that way and level up front to back with your tongue jack. After you've done that, then you can extend your stabilizers by just pushing the button. They'll run down to the ground and you do not want to overextend them. Once they hit the ground, that is the way you want to handle it. If you overextend them, it's a possibility you could bend the frame or the stabilizer itself. Back here is your dump for your sewer and also uh, there's a cap for it that will be put on before it's uh, taken out of here. The other sewer location is here, and you have your pulls up on the rails, gray and black. You want to pull the black first, make sure you're in a dump, and then you can pull the black and empty your sewage tank, and then you can pull the gray and wash out the hose. You want to let those tanks fill up to at least two-thirds. You do not want to... Uh, Leave that those valves open while you're at camp if you're at a full hookup that uh, they will not uh, drain that properly. So just make sure that you have water in the tank or at least you let them fill up to at least two thirds before you dump your tanks. This is the uh, back of your refrigerator. This is a condensation hose. Uh, you want to make sure that it stays out and the cap stays on. Uh, there's really nothing to see back there. It's for the uh, text to work on. <clears throat> you 
do have an outdoor shower here opens with your 751 key and then your water hookup is here for uh, uh, your city water and then this is a tank flush once you've dumped your black tank and uh, it still shows inside that there's uh, something in it uh, then you can hook a water hose up to this make sure the black tank pole is open and that you're in a dump then you can turn the hose on and it will flush out your tank your rear stabilizers are here button to operate those <clears throat> 50 amp service is here and all this cable is yours all the way up to the 50 to 30 adapter and uh, that comes with your unit as well so we come on around there's a, a rear door uh, to exit the unit uh, out of the bunkhouse and water hookup here it's a quick connect hookup with a, a small water hose that's supplied to you and a ladder to the roof while we're talking about that you want to uh, make sure that you uh, maintain your roof your roof is a solid membrane front to back side to side except for where things come up through it I like the vents and the air conditioner everything that comes up through the roof has die core seal around it as well as the front and the back seals you do not want to use silicone on that roof it will eat through the membrane so just make sure you only use Dicor. You can get Dicor at any RV store. So come on around to your outdoor kitchen. You have your uh, Greystone cooktop and outdoor sink. And then your refrigerator is uh, electric only. So it's only going to work when you're plugged into uh, shore power. That pretty well takes care of it. Well, let's talk about your awning, your awning's uh, completely out with your awning lights on. Your awning is just for shade control. It is not meant to uh, be out in uh, stormy weather or windy weather. So bring it in when, uh, when it's stormy, bring it in when it's windy, uh, and bring it in at night. You can lower it to get better shade control by pulling these arms down. You can pull one down or both. Uh, it is it's you can leave it out in a, a drizzle if you need to uh, I don't suggest it but if you do make sure you pull down both sides so that the uh, rainwater will shed off and not pocket on the unit now we'll uh, go inside and talk a little bit about that as we come in on the left you'll find your service panel and we'll go through the buttons you can check your battery by just pushing the button it shows it's fully charged with all the LEDs lighting up fresh tank has a third in it so we could demonstrate how that works your black tank and your gray tank are both empty you do have uh, your slide out here uh, which is located there so uh, to, you just simply push the button it will slide out same way with your awning you can extend or retract here hit the retract button it will start to come back in your water heater I said is gas or electric the gas button is here and the electric button is here if you're plugged into electric it's just as hot to, or to use the electric button or the electric uh, water heater as it is to use gas next to that you'll have your water pump and if you're not hooked up to city water as, as we're not now you'll need to pump on to uh, to run your water uh, it's a demand pump it will turn on when you turn on a, uh, a valve and it will turn off when uh, you no longer uh, have the valve on next to that is your tank heater your tank heaters are for your uh, belly tanks so that uh, they do not uh, freeze up in in uh, cold weather entry lights awning lights and main lights are all here and that pretty well takes care of that so come on around 
you have your thermostat your thermostat you simply push the button and it will go to uh, AC and you can set the temperature up or down here for the heat or the AC and that, per, that turns it off it's a good idea to run it uh, with the auto fan uh, that way it will turn off and on when you uh, when you've reached the temperature you've set on your thermostat you have a nice pantry as you can hear the AC just kicked on we we'll turn that off and run the electric heat or the gas heat I'm sorry the uh, air conditioner uh, you need 30 amps to run the AC the uh, furnace runs on uh, LP gas so that will uh, that's how those two function and the AC just kicked off now we'll go into the bathroom you know, two nice bunks you do have uh, your uh, ground fault here and then a light switch there small cabinet with a uh, walk-in shower and your toilet has a foot pedal you barely push the foot pedal and water will fill the bowl once it's uh, reached the height uh, you desire then uh, for use after use go ahead and push the pedal all the way down and that uh, will flush your toilet into the black tank it's also where you're going to put your black tank chemicals before you start camping you want to put black tank chemicals in your uh, toilet and that will keep uh, that will break down the solids and the, and the paper and uh, solidify all that so it will drain easily your dinette does make into a bed by simply removing these poles by pulling up on them taking the tabletop and resting it on the rails around the edge and using the pillows as, uh, as fillers in the middle. The cooktop lights off with a sparker. So you'll turn it to light, hit the sparker, and each, each one will light up. Now make sure you turn them off. When they're off, uh, you have a white light, and when they're on, the gas is coming out, it'll be red. And then you have the light switch. Good idea to travel with uh, this down. Make sure that uh, the glass doesn't break. Above that, you have your microwave, uh, fan, exhaust, a light, and of course your microwave kitchen sink everything works properly you heard the pump maybe come on there and then your refrigerator is gas or electric as well uh, it's on electric now we push the button in automatically goes to electric if uh, I let the button out and push the gas button it will look for gas if it does not find gas that light will come on but it looks like it did find gas and uh, it's operating on gas now so I can push the button back into automatic it'll automatically go back to electric these uh, refrigerators will stay cold for up to four to five hours six hours sometimes uh, so you don't necessarily have to run down the the road with the gas on to keep things cold it's also not a good idea and then they come to your bedroom with a nice storage underneath the mattress and uh, you have wardrobes on each side and a vent fan located here 
pretty well takes care of the walkthrough on your uh, your unit. You, uh, I did bypass the FM radio. is located here. We we do have that on. Uh, it does have indoor and outdoor speakers. And then your TV has its own remote, which uh, will operate that. Again, we want to thank you for buying your unit from Holman and uh, know that uh, you're going to have uh, many fun camping trips in it. Uh, we have a Winnebago ourselves and we enjoy it. Thank you again.